Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the Amtec Gem Box. I'm already going to tell you, this one is an, well, pretty damn old, let's say Android box. TV box, I would call it. But the reason why I wanted to do this video is very simple. The Gem Box. Um, MTech made this gem box this, uh, with, uh, combined with Gigabyte together, this partnership. And uh, yeah, what did they do? They made this special TV box for gaming. So you must think about Android games, but also retro games. And this is the reason why I want to show you. It's old, it's not very expensive, and this can be a very cool solution if you want to play retro games, want to watch some television, and etc. All right, let's check out what's in the box. <sighs> All right, let's do a little bit of overview. What are we going to get within this package? It comes with the end of gym box manual. Yeah, nothing special. We're having the Gamefly streaming. Again, gym box, if this even war, I'm guessing this Gemfly streaming deans, I don't know, is still online because it's a very old software. HDMI cable, power supply, we're having the controller, there's more like a fusion between the PlayStation and Xbox if you ask me. So this kit comes with an extra controller, you have, even have this option for a mouse and controller function, so pretty damn nice. And we're having this very tiny little gem box, it's like a little gem. All right, let's do an overview of the controller and the system itself, and let's go. Here at the top we're finding the on and off switch. At the back we're finding Ethernet port, HDMI, the input for the power. And on this side we are finding a micro SD slot and a an USB connection. I think it's a little bit of a bummer that it's only having one USB, so you're going to need a hub if you want to connect more USB devices. All right, let's take a close look at the controller, what it comes bundled with this Android device. Come with a very nice Amtec controller. The shell itself looks a little bit like the Xbox 360. It's more like a fusion with the PlayStation 3 because we have the joysticks over here. Feel very nice, by the way. It's a little bit smaller, the shell, like an Xbox 360, so keep that one in mind. We're having here on and off. We can even choose it as a mouse pointer. All right. Controller feels not bad at all. So while well, powering on the system, this is what we're going to get. There's a special Amtec menu for this device. So this is a little scroll through the menu, what we're going to get. Click on games, we can have or a game folder. This is a little bit of annoying. Every time I'm trying to update it, it doesn't work, but it's still giving this message. Gameplay stream service, retro gaming. And here you can find some light emulators. In other words, free emulators, but you need to buy them. Keep that one in mind. So, right, I'm going to show you a little bit of the application or my apps. And here you can find all your apps. Every time when you want to move an app, it's possible to just put it in my app folder or my games. I think this is a very small but a very neat option. And if you open it up IDA64, here you can see that it is made by Gigabyte. Model number Gamebox F500. It's an older device, but it's still running on an RM Cortex A5 that is clocked on 5000 MHz. Having this Mali 4 50 MP is an older chip, but we're going to test it out with some games. Beside the point, it's focused on gaming. You can also browse YouTube. And what's your favorite show? Wicked Gamer and Collector. No, just kidding. <laughs> Watching some 4K is no problem at all. So if you want to enjoy higher resolution video files, that is, so far I can see, uh, so far you can see here, it's no problem. So from this part we are going to play some retro games and let's see how things like PlayStation 1 are running. Because a lot of these knockoff systems or Android devices, PlayStation 1 is not running very well. But as you can see here, it runs like a charm. What have I got?
Round one, fight! <laughs> Select your character!
So I came across this classic boy. It was kind of pre-installed on the device. You can download it for free if you want. But keep in mind, a lot of features are not available for you. So this is maybe a very nice package deal that you can download if you don't want to download all of the emulators separately. All right, let's open up Classic Boy and this is what we're going to get. Keep in mind, they're all free to download. Um, but as you can see, some features like resume or quick load quick save are not available for you if you don't buy it. So when you're installing your files, as you can see, this is how the game is running. This is what you're going to get with the Classic Boy. If you look at this game, uh, on the other end later it was way, way better. I have seen some weird glitches in this, in this programming, so it's not the best way to go in So for the final conclusion about the Android box from MTech, I think this is a pretty neat device. It comes with a controller packed in. If you can find a second one, that would be very nice and you could play it together with your buddy. Playing retro games, it is not a it's not a problem at all. Keep in mind, it's a little bit underpowered device, so PSP, as you can see, it doesn't run very well. It's more like if you want to play some older Android and retro games, it's a funny device. You can still watch some videos, you can still watch some YouTube. So that's not a problem at all if you want to have it like a media center. How long the support is for this device, I have really no clue because it's a very old Android. So let me know what you think of this, really love to know, leave it in the comments. Want to thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, little little bell, and see you next time. And don't forget to check the gaming channel.